then we have calcium calcium does not react with water in the present uh, i mean calcium as such does not react with moisture but it reacts with cold water to give calcium hydroxide and h2 anything will react it will which will react with water will give its hydroxide and will evolve hydrogen so if you have a question that something a substance reacts with water very violently and produces hydrogen with a with a lot of heat so what can you say about x what can you say about the substance so you can say that the substance is sodium or potassium and if you have a substance reacts with uh, water reacts with cold water to produce hydrogen and the reaction is not very violent so what can you say about x so you can say that it is calcium you can say that it is calcium magnesium will not react with cold water it will react with hot water to give the same product magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen and iron iron aluminium all these will react with steam they don't even react with hot water they react with steam to give your feoh whole thrice or aloh whole thrice along with the evolution of h2 so depending upon what type of or what temperature of water these metals react you can guess what the metal actually is if it re just reacts with the moisture in the air or if it reacts with ice then you can confirm say, confirm you can be confirmed that the metal will be sodium or potassium if it reacts with cold water then you can say that it is calcium and if it reacts with hot water you can say it is magnesium and if it reacts with only with steam you can say it is iron or aluminium you have copper also but copper does not react with water and of course silver and gold will also not react with water so you are seeing that everywhere the sodium and potassium are reacting very violently they are becoming very violent they are becoming beasts and they are reacting they just want to change into something they don't want to remain sodium or potassium and they just react violently to form anything which they want and the rest like calcium is a bit mild calcium magnesium these are a bit mild iron zinc aluminium a bit milder and copper copper silver gold these are like very passive they don't react they are very um, lazy so they do not want to react with anything so they don't react with water they don't react with oxygen they don't react with anything actually copper does react with oxygen but gold and silver will not react with oxygen so if you have a question like a student performed an activity where there was water there was a wet substance over here and there was a metal over here and then he passed the gas into water and then bubbles came out so what are these bubbles made of this was heated so what are these bubbles made of so this this is a metal this is a wet substance so when it is heated it will just give out water vapors 
and this water vapors will pass over this metal and the metal will react with the water to form hydrogen and hyd th th that is why this gas will be hydrogen and these bubbles will also be hydrogen and you know these oxides which are formed along with hydrogen they are very useful especially in case of aluminium aluminium reacts with water actually it forms aloh whole trace but uh, actually i was not uh, talking about the reaction with water i was talking about the reaction with oxygen present in the air it gives al2o3 so this aluminium oxide is very important what it does is that if you have an aluminium rod pure aluminium and you keep it in air so what happens is that this aluminium reacts with the oxygen present in air to give al2o3 and this al2o3 comes and settles onto this aluminium rod and slowly it will just cover this aluminium rod so you have aluminium and you have a thick layer of al2o3 surrounded uh, the rod is surrounded by the thick layer of al2o3 and this thick layer of al2o3 prevents corrosion of aluminium or it gives a shine it gives another uh, a very good shine to the aluminium and it also protects the aluminium inside it and this process if done uh, not naturally but uh, you have ways like electrolysis to do this process so this process of covering the aluminium with its own oxide to protect it it is known as anodizing and this anodizing is done only for aluminium i mean the anodizing term refers only for aluminium not for any other metal then we have our reaction with acids so this reaction with acids is like na plus hcl gives nacl plus h2 simple very simple it was just like the reaction of acids like if you have hcl you dip a piece of metal it will give mcl2 or mcl or whatever plus h2 and this h2 gas if you pass it through water and then you make bubbles out of it and you bring a matchstick near it the bubbles will explode and the the gas inside will start burning which will prove that the gas was hydrogen so we have another things like mg plus 2hcl gives mgcl2 
plus h2 and then we have k c a a l all the same similarly with h2so4 we have n a plus h2so4 giving na2so4 just exchange this h2 and na just make it h2 and make it na2so4 and then we have calcium uh, magnesium potassium aluminium same 